Welcome to another edition of Tesla Tips and Trips. On today's episode, we are gonna be testing the CCS1 combo adapter here at Electrify America. Of course, it's at a Walmart. And uh, keep it here next. We run into some issues, but we finally figure it out. This is Tesla Tips and Trips. All right, so we are headed to our uh, local Walmart, of course, to uh, try out this. This is the first time we're gonna be trying this at an Electrify America. It's our uh, CCS Combo One adapter, official from Tesla, uh, the Korean version. Our other video, go check that out, shows you how to buy it and all that kind of stuff. So our first tip as we head to the EA uh, charger is, we are actually navigating to our local supercharger to precondition the battery. That's a little tip for you. I know it doesn't make sense to, you know, to go to a supercharger even though you're going to a CCS, but there's no way to force the car to uh, precondition. So there you go, that's our first tip, and uh, you'll see us rolling up on the EA next. All right, we're rolling up on our uh, Electrify America location. Of course, it's at a Walmart. That's kind of a known thing. They're mostly at Walmarts. And Sam's Club. We got any friends here? It looks like a Polestar, perhaps, <laughs> there. So we're not gonna use the one with Chatamo because that's kind of mean, right? We'll try yeah. the one next to it, is that right? The one with the coffee cup. One with the coffee cup. Does the screen uh, say it's good? Yep, it's, one of them says unavailable on it, but the other one says plug in. Okay, we can probably turn her off. We uh, did that to precondition. And we are now at the Electrify America. Let's go plug in and see what we got with our new adapter. All right, so we are here, we're ready to plug in. We are on uh, Charger 2, we're gonna try that one anyway. That's a 350 right here, which is good. Okay, so we're gonna be using this for the first time at Electrify America. We've used it at a, a public rest stop before. Um, so let's uh, get this thing all plugged in. It's gotta be super, super tight. Oh, you know what? This is already better. This is already better than the uh, the rest stop which was really hard to get locked into place so let's go to the app now we are on charger 2 this one here let me go plug it in plugging in not as easy as you would think there we go and fire it up all right check out the screen that's a good sign, right? That is definitely a good sign. Thumbs up, connecting to vehicle. Let's go check it out over here. We got the blue Tesla, blue Tesla, green, green. Tesla. That's already, uh-oh, something happened. What happened? Let's go check out in the car. Okay, I was celebrating too soon. It says charging equipment not ready. See equipment instructions to start charging. Okay, it says please unplug. I don't know how much. We got 0 0.0020 kilowatt hour. Okay, so check this out. This is about as tight as you can go. I'm not exactly sure what the problem is. So let's try it again. The app hasn't activated the yet. The app? No, I can't because the app is... All right, so we are plugged in tight. We got to redo the app. It still says initiating charging from last time, right? Hit finish. Oh, that's not a touch screen? It is, but... So we got to let the, uh, the unit refresh. Pricing, can we exit that? Okay. It doesn't register, it's plugged in. It's plugged in, charging error, yeah, we know. Okay, we have the um, swipe to charge again. Let's try that. Okay, it says please plug in, which we did. Please plug in, here we go. Okay. 
This is what we're all about here. We're learning this. Oh, we got something now. Check that out. Connecting the vehicle. That's good, right? Still says initiate. initiating charging. I don't hear anything yet, though. I'll go check inside the car. Pay with credit card. All right, so we're going to try a different approach here. We're going to plug this in first. Is that what we want? Yeah. Okay, now what? Now plug it back into the vehicle. All right, plugging back into the vehicle. Takes a 13 year old to figure this out. Plugged into the vehicle. I've activated on the app. All right, activated on the app. We have some initiating, we have some noise. Let's see what happens. Was that beep us or? No, that's the pull star. Oh, okay, pull star. Starting to charge. Okay. And I think we're charging. Look at that. 115. 115 is our. It's going up too. I don't know why it says five minutes remaining. Because. There we go. That's why we had to move the battery uh, battery amount. There. 114. 114. We are officially charging. We are at 145 miles state of charge or 49%, so roughly 50%. And so I'm not expecting high speeds, but this is already faster than our SeaTech adapter, which topped out at 49 or 50 kilowatts under the best conditions. So this is under very uh, low uh, conditioning to, uh, to supercharge because we only had it on there for like four miles, five miles. It's the morning time, so it's a little cooler out. Um, so the battery didn't have a lot of time to warm up. And again, the battery is at half capacity. So at this point, I am hearing by from uh, commenters on our channel and Facebook and stuff like this, this thing tops out at like 220, uh, 220 kilowatts, which is, I mean, that's a great alternative. So uh, right now we are at 100 kilowatts. Um, it peaked at 118. And it peaked at 118. And so that is definitely acceptable uh, for using CCS, this is great. All right, Marcus has an observation that he just noticed while we're doing this, what'd you say? Uh, the car and the screen are compatible. They both say that we've gained about 18, 19 kilowatt hours. So there's more communication going on than with our SeaTech adapter, which is kind of wonky, wasn't exactly accurate. Uh, what Marcus is noticing is that the car and the screen outside are basically showing the same thing. Very cool. 72%. More details coming your way, maybe. Takes a second. Wow, this interface is slow. Of course, Tesla doesn't have an interface, so <laughs> you just use the screen. Yeah. All right, so that's interesting to note. All right, so just got back from inside Walmart. Very successful shopping trip in terms of getting Hot Wheels EVs, Audi e-tron, Tesla Roadster is out there, Mustang Mach-E, so, so very cool. Just got out here and the charging was finished, but for some reason still threw a charging error. I walked up and it said 89% and then I heard the unit click over and it was done. Um, so I don't think that's the way it's supposed to end, but at any rate, let's go check out the stats inside the car. Okay, so um, we are up to 90% state of charge, 267 miles, and that's not a bad charging session at all. Very, very cool with this CCS adapter. Let's go unplug. Put you under my arm here. Pull it out, we're good to go. Take the adapter. Good to go. Put that on the uh, trunk here. And here is our final stats. We added 33.32 uh, kilowatts, kilowatt hours. 14.19 is the uh, total price. We uh, started with 48% state of charge, ended at 90. I love all these stats. This is great. This is fantastic. So there you go. Electrify America with a Tesla, with our CCS adapter. And there are the stats. And uh, it's ready for the next customer. 
All right, there you have it, folks. We finally got it working. Electrify America, the Tesla CCS1 combo adapter does work. We got a peak uh, charging rate of what was at 118? 118 kilowatts. Uh, again, we were at 50% state of charge. We were not very warm in terms of the battery temperature, but uh, early, indi early tests indicate we are good to go with this uh, CCS adapter, which is fantastic. I love having all these options available to us when we're out and about uh, road tripping or, or whatever around town. Um, things almost done. I mean, we're still charging, the thing's almost done. It's pretty awesome. Uh, what did we learn? So, uh, as always, Electrify America is uh, very sketchy in terms of getting it to work initially. Uh, so we had to plug in the adapter, and pretty much at the same time of plugging in, we had to slide it on the app to get it to go, and it finally worked. As you saw the first time, I celebrated too early, and it didn't work. Everything just crapped out on us and stopped working and didn't it didn't do it so you kind of have to try it again if it doesn't work the first time for you that's my best tip on this one so uh, any other final thoughts that you can think of there marcus i think we're good to go that's our first attempt at uh, electrify america on uh, on this uh, combo adapter so far so good and uh we thank you so much for watching each and every one of you where the channel is growing tremendously we appreciate you watching and uh, if you like what we're doing here on the channel like subscribe hit the bell and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.